Hi guys, it's me, Liz, and today um, I'm doing number two of my favorite book. Um, because I got a new channel, I decided maybe each week for the new year I'll be doing um, probably like my favorite book books um, each week if I have time. And then maybe some other times if I'm reading a good book, I might do a review about it. And my first book was Stoner and Spaz, Spaz, sorry. And my second book today is the incredible, incredible, like, good, good story called The Vast Fields of Ordinary by Nick Berg. And this is a pretty old book. And, okay, first off, I just want to say um, I love the... Um, outside of the book cover, it's really cool how they did that, and on the back, I guess this is, you know, something special, so I'm going to be reading the, um, story. Okay, it's Dave Hamilton's last summer before college. He has a crappy job at Food World, a boyfriend who won't pub. Felicity acknowledged his existence, maybe because Paolo um, also has a girlfriend, one of the most popular girls in school, and parents on the verge of a breakup. Add to all this the case of Jenny Moore, a nine-year-old whose disappearance has gripped his Iowa town, and Dane's main goal is just to, revi to survive until he leaves her school. Then he meets a mysterious Alex Kincaid, a dreamy eye misfit with all the wrong friends. Alex breathes new life into the sur um, suburban wasteland that Dave can't wait to escape. But real love, like truth, has consequences, and its power scene sets in motion a tragic chain of events that will change Dave's life forever. Okay, so um, the thing that I really like about this book is the characters. And to set out the story, it takes place in this um, city, which I'll find out because I don't remember because I haven't read this book in a while. I'm actually um, rereading it again. And it starts off um, before all the stuff happens. Like it says in the first page before. And it takes place in Cedarview Estates. Okay. So the main characters are Pablo, the guy who has a crush on, no, D um, Dave. Wait, sorry. Um, Dale, no, Dade, Pablo's crush, but he is a real jerk. Yeah, he's a real jerk. And, I don't know, basically, this book starts out really depressing. Like, he doesn't get along with his family. And all I can say is that it's a really good book. The mother's crazy. She's like on drugs and she drinks a lot and she's trying to get her life back together because she really isn't communicating with her father very well. And um, the father is the same way. And you find out something really, really interesting about him. But then when they see on the news that a girl has disappeared, the whole world changes. And later on, um, Dade meets this new character, except Dade is gay, and then he meets this new guy, and um, things are going really great, but then there's this party scene between, like, the middle of the book, and things are like, oh my god. Yeah, so basically, I give this book um, a 4 out of 5, because... I just thought the ending was, I mean, the ending was a tearjerker, but not really a tearjerker, just like, oh, oh my God, are you serious? 
And then um, also, I thought the plot was really good. The storyline was really good. And I just think people should really read this. So that I guess that's my quick book review. I think my next book review, um, I'm going to do um, probably... I am number four because I did a video about it before and um, 